mind blown. I went to look at my website analytics and I realized that I have like 19,000 people a month look at my blog, which just like seriously blew my mind because I just like do this as uh, just started at this little hobby and then it just kind of like blossomed out of there and like so I use all these social media stuff to try to like help get information out there to people um, but really like the my core my pride possession my little work baby is my blog and so it makes me so happy that it's like actually reaching a lot of people and Hopefully that means that it is actually like helping a lot of people learn. Um, and so like when I posted it on Twitter, like a bunch of people were responding that they like use it for classes and it's super helpful and stuff. And it just really warmed my heart. And I'm feeling really grateful that I have this opportunity to be able to help people learn because really that's why I do it. Um, so yeah, I was only looking at the analytics because I was updating my CV um, for some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't like keeping track of numbers or whatever because I think that's just stressful and I just, I'm not doing it for like marketing or anything. Like I don't make any money off of this. Um, I just do it purely to help people learn and it takes a lot of time and energy and stuff. And so it's just so nice to know that it's actually working and it's like reaching people all over the world in like thousands of them a month, which is just like seriously my mind is still like, I can't process it. Um, but anyway, so if any of you haven't had the pleasure of searching my blog, which I try to make with all these different resources and I'm trying to like formatting it really well and stuff um, so that when I can't post as frequently, um, there's still always this content that people can go to. Um, and so yeah, so I made a video tour of it a couple months ago and so I'll post that now because I've got to get back to my thesis, which is almost done. Over the past five years of grad school, I've done a lot in the lab and a lot outside the lab telling people about what I do in the lab. So if you're one of those people that wants to learn more about um, biochemistry, you can find a lot of what I've done on my blog, thebumblingbiochemist.com. And so today I thought I'd just give you a walkthrough of the site so you can find um, about all the content, um, including past posts, graphics, um, glossary, all sorts of things. So I don't always have time to make a new post, so, um, but there's a lot of content that I can draw on and which you guys can access at any time. Even if I haven't posted it that day, um, you can find it all here on my blog. So let's take a look. Um, just like intro screen. Um, so yeah, so you can basically search my whole site by terms to find things that you're looking for. You can also search the glossary directly. Um, but so some of the key features that you'll find if you go to this let's talk science um, there's a lot of different options and this is where the bulk of the content is sorry it's kind of slow um, but yeah so the 365 days of science that's where you'll find my daily posts um, the blog versions of them I also have a page with posts on lab techniques so for example I should have loaded this beforehand. Um, so yeah, so everything from running agarose gels, SDS page, PCR, urea page, PCR purification, RNA extraction, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of different um, topics here that um, might be helpful for people. Um, one of my favorites is the amino acids. I really like amino acids, and so in December I do a 360, uh, not 365 days of science, I do a um, 20 days of amino acids. Um, so I do daily posts, it's like my, my sort of advent calendar, and so I do daily posts on the various amino acids, so you don't even have to wait till December, you can find them all here. 
If you're interested in learning about some classical experiments, um, we're talking everything from the Chase and Hershey blend error experiment, um, the Sanger's insulin sequencing, that was um, the transforming principle, all these different um, topics. Then I also have this Women in Science page. So I used to be the social media chair for our um, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory Women in Science and Engineering group. Wise. Um, so as part of that, I wrote weekly profiles, Wise Wednesday profiles, and various scientists. Um, so you'll find those as well as ones I've done since then. So I have lots and 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 lots of amazing female scientists that you can learn about. If you go to the graphics page, you'll find some of my graphics, not all of my graphics. Um, my graphics are all free to use as long as you cite me. Um, I also have some of them available on Wikimedia Commons where you can um, do them faster. Sorry, it takes a while to load everything. But yeah, so I have lots and lots of different graphics on various topics um, that hopefully people would find useful. And some of them are available to download on Wikimedia um, Commons as well for easier download. If you go to the 365 Days of Co Science, so this is where I have my daily posts. One of the things that is helpful about the blog versions as opposed to the other versions is that when when you have a, uh, um, when I have top terms, so I have a glossary of de-jargonized science jargon, and words that are in the glossary, when they show up in articles, you're able to um, scroll over them um, to get a de definition, and then you can also click to get taken to the glossary. Um, so yeah, so if I were to go to the glossary term, I would find more information um, and some relevant graphics as well as links to related articles. If people have questions or requests, um, I have a link where you can um, contact me. And I also have the option for people to subscribe for emails if they want alerts when I have new posts. Um, I don't collect your information for anything other than sending you alerts when I make new posts and the only reason I have that option is because people have asked for it so I'm not in this to like get money or information from anyone. I do this all for free as a hobby on the side of being a full-time grad student. Speaking of which, it's going to be harder and harder for me to keep up with everything um, and make new posts and stuff, but I have lots of content that I'll be um, drawing upon as you've seen. Um, and so thank you for everyone for your patience with everything and know that all this content is here if I'm not able to be as helpful in the daily post forms. Um, so yeah, so I hope that this resource is helpful for you and feel free to use um, and share and whatever you think is helpful. Thanks.